hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm gonna be giving you part 41 of what if naruto went missing for four years remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out what if naruto was trained to be a mercenary i did a new episode of that so go ahead and enjoy and also go ahead and check out anime king 2 that's my second channel and if this is the first time you're hearing of Anime King 2, I will be leaving a link at the top of the description for you guys to go over there and check it out. And if you do enjoy the 100 plus what ifs over there, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the Anime King family and enjoy all of the lovely what ifs coming your way. So tonight I'm going to be posting a new episode of What If Naruto had 9 Kekigenkai. And also a new episode of Naruto, The God of Shinobi. So, enjoy it as well. And remember guys, if you're new to comment down below and tell me, I'll be replying back to all of you. And subscribe to both channels, Anime King and Anime King 2 and enjoy all of the lovely what ifs. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So, in the last part, the war was raging. Where Silali, lead, the Scorpion King, over to the Hidden Rain. So he can be sealed away in the seal. But it was then that Conan attacked Kakashi. As Silali and all the other demons were sealed into the seal. As Silali felt her power leaving her body. As she let out a devastating roar. As the masked man asked Pain how long would it take. And Pain told him that the bigger demons are much stronger. And it will take a little while. While Hinata stabbed Jugo in the back as she rushed off to see what is going on with Selali. Meanwhile, Naruto is still facing off against Sasuke and Sakura is now facing off against Karin. Naruto broke Karin's bow as Karin transformed into her sage mode but Sakura slammed her fist into Karin's face breaking her two front teeth so she wouldn't be able to bite her. Naruto also get the one up on Sasuke as he knocks Sasuke down in sage mode form. As Naruto then enters sage mode because this is where the real battle begin. So yeah guys that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. The battle was raging on all fronts as the sharks and the snake push to a single line forward breaking through the demon foxes and the lions and the wolf. Sigetsu walk up to Jugo. Jugo, are you really dead? He asks. As Jugo and then Twitch. No, I am not dead. Now get me out of here. I am surprised that you let someone beat you, said Sigetsu. I beat myself. This is a result of me stinging myself with my own tail, explained Jugo. Now get me out of here so I can kill some more. You will not kill anyone else today. We got orders from the main line. We are to fight towards an extraction point, said Sigetsu as he helped Jugo up and started dragging him from the battlefield. Now then, after I bring you there, I have to find Sasuke and Karin. Elsewhere on the battlefield, the Kayubi couldn't help himself from smiling even though he knew he shouldn't, as he knew that his force was winning. The enemy army was surrounded by his force and they were minutes away from dying. With luck, they would win this war easily. Lord Kayubi, your son is here as you requested, said a messenger fox. As the Kayubi looked down at Sato, blood stained his fur but none of them was his. Father, said Sato, Sato, you and your forces have done great. Now fall back and defend the camp. We will finish the rest. Father, with all due respect, we can still fight, said Sato. Son, you are too cocky. Your forces are tired and you need some rest. He then placed a tail on Sato. You need rest as well. Father, I don't want to leave the field. I need to prove myself, Sato said. Son, you led the first wave of forces into the main force. You have done well than I did in my first battle. Now, please don't make me order you back to the camp. Very well. I'll go back, said Sato. Good, said the Kayubi. With Sasuke and Naruto, the both of them were glaring at each other. As the two of them walked and slithered around each other, just glaring, 
Sasuke in his demon snake form and Naruto in his demon fox form. Naruto then covered his claw in red chakra as Sasuke run through hand sign, demon, lightning snake jutsu. Five snakes made out of nothing but lightning came shooting at Naruto. Naruto quickly jumped up to avoid the attack as two of them came near to him and then explode into a lightning ball. So if they touch each other they exploded thought Naruto as he started to dodge the attacks from the remaining three snakes. Run little fox run said Sasuke with a laugh as he watched Naruto dodge out the snakes. The snakes then touched each other as they exploded. Your little attack blew up said Naruto. No it didn't said Sasuke. As one of the three snakes came out of the explosion biting Naruto's arm. Goodbye Naruto Sasuke said. With that the snake that hold on to Naruto's arm exploded in a giant ball of lightning. That ended too soon said Sasuke as he watched the smoke cloud. He then felt a chakra source behind him as he tried to turn around but teeth sink down into his neck forcing him on the ground as he slashed around and tried to escape. As he turned his head to see Naruto biting into his neck as Naruto's claws rip into his armor. Sasuke hissed in pain as he tried to do anything to get out of Naruto's bite but he couldn't and he couldn't attack Naruto in the position that Naruto was in. As Sasuke tried to drag Naruto in the water but Naruto used his own chakra to keep on the surface. As he only had one thing to do, Sasuke then pushed back as he slammed his back into the Madara statue as Naruto was behind him so Naruto took the force. As Sasuke used so much force that Naruto felt an extreme pain coursing through his body as he let go of the bite of Sasuke's neck as Sasuke took that as the best opportunity and slithered away. Shidori yelled Sasuke as his arm started covered with lightning as Naruto was in front of him. There was no escape as he slithered to Naruto but Naruto vanished in a yellow flash. As Sasuke cursed that technique, the place then started to shake as Naruto appeared a few feet away as Sasuke last slam into the statue. The Madara statue was coming down. Crap said Naruto as the statue started to drop down. Meanwhile Hinata was traveling as fast as possible through the place as she could sense her master and also keep up on the tracks where the paw prints were. As when she reached the outer wall of the rain village her eyes widened as she saw that her master trapped in the sealing process. What's going on asked Hinata but she then had to dodge a kunai that was coming towards her as she turned to see four people coming at her in Akatsuki cloaks. Lee was coming down hard for a kick but he was then blocked by Kakashi who appeared in front of Hinata. As Kakashi flipped out a kunai ready to stab Lee but Crystal appeared on his kunai as he dropped it. So now we get to kill a demon summoner too said Kabuto. I don't think so said Hinata as she raised her bow and arrow. I won't let you harm my master. Too late said Conan as Silari let loose her mighty roar. Hinata looked towards her master just in time to see Silari fade away into nothing but chakra. As the chakra shield around the village fell. We have sealed them away said Conan. No said Hinata as she pointed her bow at Hinata's head. Hinata we need to fall back said Kakashi. Why she asked. I can tell that your chakra level is low and they see those demons into ring they can use them against us. We can run now and fight a later date stated Kakashi and we cannot stand up to the power of two demon lords. Fine Hinata growled. We won't let you leave said Lee. Watch out said Kakashi as he run through hand sign. Shidori. We have seen that attack said Conan. You have never seen this said Kakashi as he pumped more chakra into his Shidori making it glow brighter and brighter. Suddenly it became so bright that everyone on the field had to close their eyes. When the light finally vanished Hinata and Kakashi were gone. We have to finish them said Lee. No. We have what we want let them go ordered Conan. Back with the fight. Sakura was really amused as she didn't have to enter sage mode as Karin was in sage mode but she was still weak. Karin then jumped back. I'll end this said Karin. And how would you do that? You no longer have your crossbow or your fangs. 
I'll defeat you with one of my husband technique. As she raised her hand in the air, as the lightning started to flare around her hand, the massive statue crashed down to the ground as both Naruto and Sasuke went into the water so they wouldn't get hit by it. As both of them emerged, as Naruto stand on top of the water, and so did Sasuke. As Sasuke smiled, now to end you, as he raised his hand in the air, Kirin, he said, as Naruto widened his eyes as he knew that attack is deadly. But then, Sasuke's hand just got covered in lightning, and then it vanished. Was that all? Naruto asked. What? said Sasuke. The sky should be filled with lightning for my attack. That is when the both of them noticed the large attack forming over the spot where their wives were battling. Sakura thought Naruto, Karen you damn idiot, you took all of the lightning, now I can't do my attack. Hiss Sasuke. Above, Sakura watched as lightning danced around Karen as she then looked up to see a lightning dragon. Now it's time for you to die, stated Karen. I don't think so. Said Sakura as she started to run through hand sign. Naruto told me to not use this, but I have no choice. Karin's eyes widened as the rain around Sakura started to spin around in her hands until it started to form a water ball. As the ball started to get bigger and bigger, as she pumped Chakra into it, as she started to pump red Chakra into it. Take this, said Karin, as she sent the attack flying towards Sakura, demon water style. Rasen Shuriken yelled Sakura as she launched her own attack at Karin's attack. A massive explosion filled the air as the two massive attacks hit each other. Sakura yelled Naruto as he looked for any sign of her as the massive explosion gave away. Finally, he noticed Sakura standing on the ledge, a little bit of blood running down her arm, but other than that, she seemed fine. Naruto, watch out, said Sakura. Naruto looked forward to see Sasuke charging towards him, she though recovering his hand, with his fangs also pointed out. Naruto instantly reacted by grabbing Sasuke's mouth so he couldn't bite him with those deadly venom. But that means the Shidori hit him in his side just below his ribcage. Sasuke then looked at Naruto as he thought that he won, until Naruto smiled. Now you cannot escape me, said Naruto. As a clone appeared above Sasuke with a red Rasengan in his hand. Sasuke tried to back away only to realize that Naruto was holding on to him. Demon Fox. Giant Rasengan yelled the clone. As the Rasengan hit, Sasuke right on top of his head. The blast sent both of them flying in different directions. Naruto landed face down on top of the water as slowly he started to change back into his human form holding his blade inside, as he could already feel his body being healed by the demon chakra. He looked up to see Sasuke had survived the blast, and he was also in his human form, on his knees, and blood was leaking down on his face. Now, I just need to finish this, thought Naruto. Elsewhere, the Kayubi and his forces has just met with Hash Ai in the center of the battle. How is our forces? Kayubi asked Hash Ai. Well, right now, the west side of the enemy has broken through our left camp, but we easily took them out. So, how about the wounded, the Kayubi asks. They are being treated, but right now me and you have to go after the big fish. As the both of them turned and looked over to Seamus and Nico, I know, said the Kayubi. Let's end this battle once and for all. Back with Sakura. Sakura was knocking Karin around as Karin changed back to her human form as she fell to her knees. Now it's time to end you, said Sakura as a knife came out of her wrist. I don't like killing people, but you are just too dangerous to live. I may have beaten you, but if you went against a normal Jonin, they would have been killed. Please let me go. I will not fight against you anymore, said Karin as she looked into Sakura's eyes. Why should I believe you? asked Sakura as she put the blade on Karin's neck. As a mother, would you really take away another mother from her son? asked Karin. I am not a mother, stated Sakura. Not yet. I can sense chakra within you and you have two extra swords within you. 
said Karen as soccer eyes widen. You're carrying twin babies. Would you like it if someone took you away from them after they were born? Karen asked. Kids? Could I really be pregnant? With twins? Naruto and my kids? Asked Sakura to herself as she started to lower the blade. That is right, Sakura. The mothers can let each other be. But Sakura eyes then turned slitted again as the blade came back up. You're a snake, Sakura growled. Did you really think that I would fall for that trick of yours? It isn't a trick, stated Karin. Please don't, said Karin. My boy needs his mother. We both choose our life and we both decide to become demon summoners. And in this case, you lose, said Sakura as Sakura swiped with the kunai, slicing Karin's head off as Karin's head dropped to the ground. Down below, Sasuke was on his knees. Naruto was also on his knees as the both of them had major wounds. But slowly, Naruto stood up as he started to walk towards Sasuke, his blood-stained kunai in his hand. It's over, said Naruto. And now, I'll end you. I don't think so. As Sigetsu appeared beside Sasuke. I don't care about Karin, but you're useful, Sasuke. I will not run, said Sasuke. Orders from above. The master needs you. Leave to fight another day, said Sigetsu. Sasuke then glared at Naruto. Fine. But notice Naruto, you will die at my hands, as both Sigetsu and Sasuke vanish. Damn it, said Naruto, as he felt his chakra giving away, as he started to fall down into the water. Naruto, said Sakura as she jumped down, as she landed beside him and grabbed his arm, pulling him back to the surface. I got you, S Sakura, said Naruto. Save your strength, Naruto, said Sakura as she placed her hand on him and started to heal the wound to speed up the process. We can't let Sasuke get away. We need to end this, said Naruto. Naruto, you are no shape to fight Sasuke right now or anyone. You should be in the hospital. We kill one snake today. Leave another day to fight another one, she said. All right, said Naruto, as he looked up at the sky. Miles away, the army started to retreat. The snakes and the sharks, as there were less of them now, as the Kayubi and Hashai were with the cage. Why aren't you going after them? asked Tsunade. It's a trap, said Hashai. The center want us to follow them, and the edges will come around and trap us inside. Correct, and our army are too weak to go after them right now, said the Kayubi. Will they go back to the demon world and leave us alone? asked Eno. No, they will establish a ground base here and rest while they build up back their forces, said Hashai. The first battle may be over with our victory, but the war has just begun. An hour later, in the stone village, Hayashi Hayuga sat on the patio, eating a late lunch. So far, everything was going great. He was now head of the council and his clan started to take over things in the government and business-wise. Father, said Hanabi, as she walked onto the patio. Hanabi, why aren't you wearing your new headband? Hayashi asked. You're a ninja of the stone and you will act like one. Father, I will never be a ninja of this village, stated Hanabi as Hayashi stood up and glared at his daughter. You are never to say that again, stated Hayashi. You are to serve the clan. You put the clan before the village, stated Hanabi. Always, stated Hayashi. Besides, you will change your mind once you meet your future husband. What? asked Hanabi. I am currently arranging your wedding to the son of the former head member of the council. Suddenly, the ground started to shake. What's going on? Take a look, said Hanabi. As Hayashi walked off the patio, as he looked to see a demon horde coming over the mountains, Hayashi just stood there looking at the demons coming toward the village as alarm filled the air. Back to the camp, the sun was just going down after a long day of battles. Many of the leaf ninjas along with the others started their journey back home. However, not all of them. Tsunade rubbed her eyes as she sat down on the ground. Her body is sore 
after a long long time. How are you doing? asked Jiraiya as he sat down beside Snavi. I have been better, Snavi stated. I am just wondering, how am I going to explain all of this to the villagers? It is a war, said Jiraiya. Yeah, and we suffered over 50% casualty from this battle alone, said Snavi. It is better than having the village get destroyed, said Jiraiya as another cart of bodies passed by them. Try telling that to the families and loved ones of those who die, said Snavi. I am not saying that it would be easy, said Jiraiya. Hours later, Naruto was being carried on a stretcher as Sakura was beside him as two Anfus were carrying him. Don't worry Naruto, we're near the village, said Sakura. You know I can walk, said Naruto. As he was about to stand up, but Sakura pushed him back down. I know you can walk, but your chakra level is still low, and that wound that Sasuke used on you, seeing that the demon chakra hurt you badly, so it is still raw, so just lie down. Alright, Naruto said. As they arrived to the village gate, as many people were at the gates crying as they saw their loved ones return in body bags. This is all the demon's fault! Yell a loud voice in the crowd of people. Stupid idiots, don't they see that they would all be dead if we haven't fought? Thought Sakura. As they pushed into the village towards the main hospital, already at the hospital, Shikamaru opened his eyes as he had to blink a few times to adjust his eyes to the bright light. Shikamaru you're awake, said Tamari as her face appeared above him. So, are we dead? Is this heaven? Now I can finally get some rest, said Shikamaru. You idiot, said Tamari. That's just a bright light. Wait, I'm alive, said Shikamaru. How is this possible? I was bitten by a snake. And their bites are very deadly and poisonous. Sakura was able to control the flow of the venom to a single part of your body. However, we had to cut that part off. Which part? asked Shikamaru. As Temari looked down at his pants. Temari, he said, as he started to sweat. Don't worry, it was your pinky finger. As he let out a sigh. Oh, that's alright, he said. That is all? said Temari. I thought you would be upset with me. It is only a pinky finger. In the grand plan of things, that isn't our big deal. As he then raised his hand. I mean, it hurt. But it is better than not feeling anything at all. So, did we win? In a way, we survived, but we have lots of casualties, but it is none of our close friends, and we kill a lot of them. But they retreated, and it also seemed that the rain village was controlled by the Akaski. So, it was a trap, asked Shikamaru, as he sat up. Yeah, said Temari, as she pushed him back down. Rest, we will talk tomorrow, she said. Alright, said Shikamaru, as he lay back down. Later on, Sakura was in the hospital at Naruto's bed with Ren Haruno and Katara as Sakura just explained to them what Karin said. Wait, two? Yes, said Sakura with a laugh. But I did a test and I wasn't pregnant. Sakura, hold still, ordered Katara as she walked forward and placed one of her tail on Sakura's stomach. What are you doing? asked Sakura. It is a simple way for us foxes to find out if you have child. Chakra then started to glow around Katara's tail. Katara then closed her eyes and after a few seconds she spoke. There it is. Karin wasn't lying. You are carrying two young children within you. As Sakura and her mother's eyes widened. But the test, it must have been too early. The chakra networks are just forming, said Katara. Congratulations Sakura. Wow, just wow, said Sakura with a smile. Congratulations dear, you and Naruto will be great parents, said Ren and I'll be there to help you out. Thanks mom. As Sakura started to think about how Naruto would react to the news, as her smile then turned to a frown. What is it? Ren asked as she saw the look on her daughter's face. I just realized if Karin was telling the truth about me being pregnant, then she was telling the truth about having a young son. And I just kill that child's mother. Across the world, the stone village was being burned as Sasuke lay in a bed of the stone village hospital. 
A team of medical snakes were treating his wounds. Beside him was a baby in a crib as the son was unaware that his mother was dead. So Seamus, what are we to do? asked Nico as he stood beside the lord of demon snakes. We clear this village out and make it a front line base for our enemies. A distance away. Come on people, we have to get moving said Hanabi as she and her group was now in the fire country as the stone village was destroyed a couple of minutes ago by the demons who took over the place. For all we know, every village has fallen to those demons, stated a young Chunin. We will not know until we get there. Besides, where else would we go? Asked Hanabi. Just go to the leaf, said one of the badly wounded ninjas. All right, said Hanabi. We should be there in a day or two, depends on how fast we move. But guys, gonna be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to be posted. And also, make sure to stay in tune because I'm going to be posting What If Naruto Had 9 Take Again Kai on my second channel. So stay in tune for that. And also, I'm going to be posting a new episode of Naruto, The God of Shinobi. So stay in tune for that as well. And for now, I'm out of here. Peace.